I'm Nissan Laria, co-founder of Wazer. At Wazer, we like to make things. We all met at the University of Pennsylvania, where we led an engineering club building custom race cars each year. Now, there's a lot that goes into making one of these cars, but I want to talk to you about this. A simple metal bracket. Now, it looks boring, but it actually gets welded to the frame of the car and holds a critical component in place. And even though this part looks simple, the process of making it is actually quite involved. You've got to trace out the shape on a sheet of metal, drill the hole, bandsaw or grind the outer profile, and then smooth out the edges with a sander or a file. The whole process could take a few hours, and we had to make dozens of these things. Now, you might say, hold on, it's 2016, I've got a digital design, surely there's some device that'll just cut this part out for me. It turns out it's not so simple. Let's take a look at the landscape of digital fabrication tools that are affordable to individuals. There are low-cost laser cutters, but they only cut soft materials like wood and plastic. Consumer 3D printers are great for complex shapes, but again, only in plastic. Desktop CNC machines can cut some soft metals, but the process is tedious and requires lots of skill. If you want to cut something hard and flat, you pretty much have to do it by hand. That's what we're solving with Wazer. It's a, a digital tool that uses water to cut through any material. And when I say any material, I mean any material. Of course, soft stuff like wood, plastic, rubber, but also titanium, glass, carbon fiber, ceramic tile, even high-end blade steel. The only thing that we haven't tried yet is Wolverine's adamantium claws. <laughs> so, how does this technology work? Well, water-based cutting has been around for decades on the industrial scale. Machines look like this, they cost over $100,000. Fundamentally, we pressurize water and combine it with abrasive microparticles at high velocity. It's the same erosion process of a river carving a valley over millennia. We just do it in a matter of seconds. This would have taken me three days to cut by hand. Now I can simply send my digital design to our device, press cut, and walk away. In three hours, the job is done. This is our latest prototype. Wazer cuts any material. It cuts with digital precision. It's far more accurate than cutting by hand. It will be fully enclosed, which makes it clean and safe to use, and it's the result of a ground-up redesign of water cutting technology with four separate patents pending. And because Wazer is so versatile in what it can cut, it's needed by lots of different types of makers. Whether it's an artist cutting a stained glass mosaic or a jeweler designing a necklace, a homeowner redoing the bathroom or a hobbyist working on a motorcycle, the local maker space can now offer cutting in metal and glass, and high school students around the country will build better robots. And of course, startups at the world's largest hardware accelerator can build their next round of prototypes in-house. The point is, personal fabrication is a growing market. It's a movement that pumps $29 billion into the U.S. economy each year. It's fueled by the growth of 3D printer sales, which will reach $4 billion by 2019. With Wazer's unique cutting technology, we're well positioned to live alongside 3D printing and further expand this market. We're a team of mechanical, electrical, and manufacturing engineers. We've worked together for years at university and a previous startup. And we're also supported by expert advisors in machine design, user interaction, and business development. If you'd like to know more, come see a live demo of Wazer cutting metal with water. We'll be launching our final design on Kickstarter in mid-September, and we're really excited to bring this amazing technology to every workshop. At Wazer, we like to make things. Now, we can't wait to find out what you will make. Thank you.